So we are in 16 member states and we are, uh, Ethiopia will be joining soon. And uh, we know the objectives, the governance uh, structure is well known. Yeah, so that's the governance uh, structure for now. Exacon, we have our general assembly where it includes all the entire membership. But we have the NR, that's a, it's a functional organ of the college through which policies and decisions are made. We also have chapters, like the way we are here, it's a Kenya chapter, but other countries also have chapters and they have uh, functional leadership within the chapter. And the elections are done every after four years. We had our election last year in Eswatini. The membership we know, uh, regulatory bodies, they are part of Exacon members, nursing and midwifery associations or unions. We also have individual members. And I'm happy to see Kenya chapter is adding more members. Let's work on that, this because we know when we are many, we can do big things. The faculties under our college, we have four. Education, clinical practice, leadership and management, and research. So we have partners under um, Exacon, Ministry of Health, uh, our main partners, but we also work with uh, sister colleges as you've heard from Exacog, but we also learn from Cosexa, Canexa, this is the College of Anesthesiologists. We also work very closely with uh, Japaigo, we have Amref Health Africa, Vaca Health Foundation, COIN, the IAPB, we have also uh, a partner who is called Loyal College of Surgeons in Ireland. They are supporting us with the perioperative work. Empower School of Health, you heard about them yesterday. We also work with American Academy of Pediatrics. So the college achievements, uh, when we went for the 15th conference and 7th Quadrino General Assembly, that was held uh, last year in Eswatini. We had a very successful uh, conference. And uh, during the conference, uh, we launched our Exacon accreditation framework and tools. We know we are going to have our students in the facilities. And the facilities have to be assessed and accredited. So we have the tool already. This was supported by AMREF. We also had a very successive uh, pre-conference meeting with Quad members from our member states. The, uh, we were working on the amendments in our constitution and it was approved during the General Assembly. We also had a very successful elections and we have the new leadership in place. Back in Arusha, we conducted orientation meeting with the, the new incoming leadership, and we had to form the uh, college committees. You heard about the college committees uh, when the doctor was uh, presenting. So we also have the same under Exacon to oversee the trainings. Uh, another achievement, uh, one of the committee that the college have is a resource mobilization committee and this committee received a training on the business sustainability plan we know as a college we have to fundraise resources to support the learners or to support our fellowship programs but also to support other initiatives and this was uh, facilitated by pact we, uh, and the pact were subcontracted by Japaigo, who is one of our partner. Um, for now, we have the draft uh, copy, and we are working uh, to have the final copy soon. So with Japaigo, we also uh, work with them under the Africa Bureau project, 
And with this one, we are trying to uh, see and uh, identify pre-service midway free school that we are going to uh, make it a center of excellence for our region. So we have one school in uh, Botswana, and for now the key gap, according to the school, was the uh, mannequins for the students, for midw midwives uh, students to do practice. So what we did, we did the procurement process and the vendor is soon delivering the equipments. With AMREF Health Africa, they are our good partners. We are working on, with them to revamp our website. Soon our website will have a new look. And uh, we are working together in partnership to deliver the leadership management and governance uh, training or course for seniors and middle level health managers. We advertise on this course and we hope we, should, we, we will have more members from Kenya and other member states. We have some, but we need more numbers. Then uh, with the new website, we hope to have more CPDs course that uh, the nurses and midwives will access them uh, freely. And some will be paid, of course. So with VACA Health Foundation, uh, VACA has supported um, uh, Exacon to come up with three technical areas for the fellowship program. Uh, one of it being chronic disease management, critical care, and midwifery. So we did the content development. Uh, now we are at the content uh, development stage, but we worked with them to come up with the curriculum for the technical areas and we sent the curriculum to the regulatory authorities and some of the countries have already approved the curriculum, one of it being Kenya. We also have Rwanda. We also have Seychelles, Mauritius, uh, Malawi, and the Swatini. So we are still waiting for other countries to approve, but we cannot wait for them. That's why we had, have decided to start our trainings uh, by October. So uh, regarding the fellowship programs, it's a two-year competence-based applied learning. During the foundation year, it will be online with block lectures and seminars. Second year, it's going to be a residence year with clinical hours at accredited facility. So with the starting technical areas, uh, chronic disease, as I said, critical care, midwifery, and neonatal nursing. And having the approval from all the countries, like now we have approval from six countries, a learner who will study here in Kenya can work, can work in all the countries, the six countries. So you can move from here and go and work in Eswatini using the same certificate. So the upcoming fellowship, we are, not, we are not sleeping. We are working on other curriculum. We have perioperative care. We have anesthetic care. And we are looking forward to have oncology care to be part of our fellowship programs. Uh, so this is the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Uh, we are working with them to come up. Now we have one year uh, certificate course for perioperative, which is in our guild, our e-learning platform. But they are also supporting Exacon to come up with the fellowship program for two years. Empower School of Health, I will not repeat, but we have worked with them on uh, procurement and supply chain management for the frontline healthcare workers. And the course is already in our e-learning platform. American Academy of Pediatric, we are working with them, but it's only in a single country in Tanzania, and they are training the sixth regional hospital on HBB, helping babies breathe. 
So we've also, uh, we have a pool of master trainers uh, that were trained uh, last year on the primary eye care and we are planning to scale it up in our countries and have the TOTs. And uh, COIN, they are supporting us with the neonatal care training or fellowship program. So you can see the fellowship programs we have, we, we, we are not working in isolation like Exacon alone. We also have international partners so that we have these trainings at a very high level. And we are going to release another application in specific countries. So those countries who have approved the program, we are going to go another round of call for application. Then we'll get back to you so that we start our trainings by October. And we are working very closely with the Council of uh, Nurses in Kenya to have the facilities and assess them and accredit them so that the learners will be attached to the facilities. Exacon is also looking forward to have speci uh, specialized nurses. As doctors said, doctors run for that, but nurses, we are reluctant. You have your level, you stay there. Now we want uh, nurses who can discuss with the surgeon a specialized uh, perioperative nurse, sit with the surgeon and discuss the, the success of the patients. So that's the level that Exacon wants to move. That's why we are trying to bring as many options for you to, to decide, maybe I want to go for this. I want to go for critical care. I want to excel in midwifery. And we are looking forward for you to come. As doctor said, we are not going to change the formality. You are going to be trained where you are so that you stay with your family. But second year, maybe you can move from your facility and go to the facilities which are accredited. But they are not far from your home. Yeah, that's the modality that we are going to use to train nurses. Thank you. Any question?